everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Now, I uh, just want to say thank you so much to those of you that have subscribed to our YouTube channel, that have been following us on Facebook, Instagram, all our social media platforms. I just want to say thank you so much and I'm truly grateful. Keep sending in those messages. Keep um, commenting on our videos. Keep liking our posts. I am super, super grateful. Thank you so much. Without any further ado, let us get to today's tutorial. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the following tools. First of all, I've got my pattern paper. I've got my pattern master. I've got my straight ruler. I've got my pencil. I've got a permanent marker, but this is really not important. This is just for the sake of today's video so you guys can see the lines clearly. I've got my eraser. I've got my tracing wheel. I've got my paper scissors. Paper scissors. <laughs> paper scissors is very important. You don't want to use your fabric scissors on your paper. So you should have separate scissors for different things. So I've got my measuring tape. And I've got a straight ruler, a very long straight ruler. It's optional, you don't have to have that. Now when it comes to pattern paper, you might be thinking, oh, I don't have exactly what she's got there, so I wouldn't draft my patterns today. No, you have no excuses. I've got the right solution for you. Now if you have old shopping paper bags, all you need to do is to cut it all up, make sure you tape them all together and it's wide enough for your pattern, you're good to go. If you have maybe, um, A4 paper, get a couple of them, tape them all up. As long as it's big enough for your pattern, you're good to go. So you have no excuses not to draft those patterns because we are going to create something today. So no excuses, let's get to it. <laughs> so first of all, we need our pattern paper. Make sure it's wide enough for your pattern. For this tutorial, we are going to be drafting the shoulder dot. And in order for us to draft the shoulder dots, we are going to use our previously drafted front bodies block. So I will say, before you go further with this video, I am going to leave a link on the screen where you can see how we drafted the front and the back bodies because we are going to be using those blocks that we drafted previously on today's tutorial. So I will suggest click on the link so you can watch those videos and come back to this video. So to continue with this video, we need to draw a vertical line on our pattern paper. Once that is drawn in, we need to get our block, which we have previously drafted. This is our front bodies block. We need to make sure we properly line our front bodies to the vertical line that is on our pattern paper. Once we have our pattern properly placed on our vertical line, we need to trace off our body's block, making sure everything on our body's block is being transferred properly to our pattern paper. That is the green line, the notches, the points, everything is properly transferred to our pattern paper. We don't wanna leave anything behind. So making sure we have everything properly traced and we are good to go. So next, I am going to get my measuring tape to use in measuring a quarter of my shoulder measurement, which is five inches. I'm going to divide that by two, which is 2.5 inches. I'm gonna mark that there. And that will be our point where we are going to slash open our shoulder dots. So we're gonna mark that and draw a straight line joining the shoulder point to the waist dot. Point. So I'm going to be joining both lines like so. So next I am going to use my paper scissors to slash open the shoulder dot line and also the bust dot line. So I'm going to rotate my paper using my paper scissors to slash open the shoulder dot line carefully. And I'm not going to cut all the way through the line, I'm just going to leave a little gap. 
turn my paper over proceed to the bust dot line I'm going to slash open the very first line again I am going to carefully slash that open not going all the way through leaving a gap like so so once both lines are being slashed open I am going to go ahead using the open close method which means I am going to close the bust that making sure both lines are aligned together like so so that will create an opening at the shoulder once you properly close the bust that you need to get your seller tape tape that in making sure it's secured When closing your dart, you need to carefully tape it down, making sure the lines are well placed. You don't need to rush at this point. So now that is secured. So for our next stage, we are going to get a fresh pattern paper. We're going to draw in a vertical line on that paper. Next, we are going to align our newly drafted bodies to our new pattern paper. Just to make sure we place our pattern properly on the vertical line, we can use this method by turning over the pattern. What you need to do is to fold along the center front line, like so. You need to be very careful when doing this. So once we are done folding the center front line, we can now align the pattern to the vertical line. To make sure we properly secure the pattern, we need to use our tape to tape the pattern down on our pattern paper. So what I've noticed on my pattern, I've noticed that around the bust area, the side seam lines are not even. So what I need to do is to get my pattern master, draw in a new line, making sure the side seam line is as smooth as possible. So once that is done, I am going to go ahead using our tracing wheel to trace off this new pattern. You want to make sure you trace off all the points the dart points, the notches, everything on the previous pattern, you need to trace all of that on your new pattern paper. So what we need to do is to flip our pattern paper, making sure all our lines are properly traced. You don't want to leave any line left out. You want to make sure you properly trace everything. So once we are sure that our pattern is properly traced, we need to turn our paper over, then take off the old pattern, leaving us with a new traced pattern. Now our old pattern is out of the way. What we need to do next is to get our pattern master. The reason why we are using our pattern master is to make sure all our lines that we're going to draw in are smooth and straight. So we're going to use the help of our pattern master to draw in those new lines. So we're going to place our pattern master on the traced line like so. Then we'll use our pencil to draw the new line. So we're going to repeat this method on each of the lines.
our pattern is done it's finally traced out we have our new shoulder dart pattern we can go ahead to compare our old pattern which is the bust dart pattern and we can compare it to our new shoulder dart pattern making sure we've transferred everything that needs to be transferred to our new pattern don't forget to add the grain lines and label out your new pattern and you are good to go so don't forget this is the very first video of our dart manipulation series we are going to be uploading more videos on different styles and different types of dart manipulation so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification button so you are the first person to be notified whenever we have new videos so bye for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on our next video